Hi, my name is Andrew, and today we're going to learn about tree rings with Biology in a Box Unit 9, Exercise 1A.2. Tree rings develop because trees grow in a cyclical pattern. In the spring, trees grow much more than they do in the summer, fall, and winter because of the moisture in the ground. Tree rings can have a number of different characteristics. They can be wide or narrow depending on how well they grew in a given year. They can also be curvy or wavy if they were damaged by something like a car or lightning. They can also have charcoal if they survived a fire, or they can have holes where bugs have burrowed into them. Tree rings can also be knotty, which is where they have a branch that's grown out of the tree trunk and left a funny mark on the, on the tree rings. Included in your Biology in a Box kit are some tree rings, much like this one. These tree rings will have dates on the back and the species of the tree listed so that you can tell when the tree was cut down and by counting the tree rings you can tell when it first started to grow. My tree cookie was cut down in 2002 and is an example of yellow pine from East Tennessee. It also has a number of holes in it where bugs have bored into the tree and left their mark. Counting tree rings can be a little difficult just because of how small they are, so we have some tips to make it a little bit easier for you. The first thing you want to do is count with a paper clip or a sheet of paper so you can keep your place because the tree rings are very small. The next thing you want to do is count only the light or dark tree rings. The reason for that is because trees lay down a light and a dark ring every year. So if you count all of them, you'll end up with a tree that's twice as old as it should be. Another good tip is to not count the bark or the pith. Those aren't included in counting tree rings to determine its age. Look at your own cookie and see if you can answer the following questions. How old was the tree when it was cut down? What year was it planted in? Does the tree have knots? or any holes in it, maybe even charcoal from when it survived a fire. Find the year you were born on the tree and see if you can tell how well it grew during that year. Was there another year where the growth was particularly good and the tree ring was extra wide? Before we go, here's a fun fact for you. The tree cookies included in your biology in a box set mostly come from North America. That means that their tree rings are pretty easy to distinguish. However, a lot of trees that grow in tropical climates don't have such easy to distinguish tree rings. Can you imagine why that might be? I hope you've had fun playing with your tree cookies and counting tree rings as part of the Biology in a Box Unit 9 Exercise 1A.2 experience. We'll see you next time.